343 actively drafting plans for multiple flights later this year for Halo Infinite. What to expect from these flights and how to sign up for them. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe. Keep yourself up to date. So let's get right into the content here. One of the big questions I get quite often about Halo Infinite's development is when to expect flighting to happen and how will it kind of look for 2021. Years back, Bonnie Ross did go on stage saying that no matter what Halo game is gonna be releasing, that they're gonna be doing a beta test for it so everyone can jump in and play it to make sure the game runs properly. Obviously, she said that in mind without expecting a global pandemic to happen like it happened in 2020 and currently still going on right now. And 343 almost threw away the idea of being able to have flights for Halo Infinite. If you guys remember back in the July update, they mentioned specifically saying with Halo Infinite, we are also committed to building the game in partnership with our community. But given the unprecedented challenges of this year, we're not quite where we expected to be in terms of a broader public flighting. While not our full program we had envisioned, we have been working very closely with the community on nearly every facet of the project. I have a nice way of saying, yeah, we don't have enough time to do flighting guys, sorry. Though so with the delay happened for Halo Infinite and then we finally got a announcement of when they expect the release date, now it's gonna be in fall of 2021, most likely in November to kind of capitalize on the 20th anniversary of Halo happening on November 15th of 2021. It's given 343 more time to be able to put together some kind of flighting program so we can actually get a chance to play Halo Infinite early, give some proper feedback and give enough time for the developers at 343 to implement changes in the gameplay and mechanics of the game to make sure it's a game that Halo fans want. And with the additional time added to the development of Halo Infinite, it's actually given 343 time to actually implement flighting. And it actually sounds like it might be a proper flighting experience and not really necessarily like a promotional beta like many other games, especially the Call of Duty franchise has done. Stating specifically, we can't wait for you to join us on the Halo Infinite adventure. First with Insider Flighting later next year. Next year being 2021. That's a very important thing to know that they mentioned Insider Flighting, kind of like it's an ongoing process kind of thing, which is kind of the idea of the flighting, meaning that we'd probably have multiple flights, kind of like what we had with Halo Reach coming to PC. I think we had like three or four proper flights before that game was officially released on the PC. I'm assuming we won't probably be doing any kind of legitimate flighting until the second half of the year, probably in July or later. Though this does mean that 343 right now is actively drafting up some plans for the flighting process for Halo Infinite. A recent article posted up on Windows Central had a bit of a conversation with some of the Master Chief Collection developers right there talking about the process that's been bringing these games to the PC and fixing a lot of the issues and really taking advantage of the flighting program. There's some key words that they mentioned here that I think you really should hear because I know that they're gonna be bringing over these learnings over the Halo Infinite. I've highlighted a few things to showcase you guys. So they mentioned here specifically saying that we would have not had the success and relatively smooth and stable launches this year without the flying program or MCC. And also saying engaging the community, asking their help, gathering their feedback and using it to improve and iterate on our development goals has been absolutely vital in our overall process. The writer of the article does mention here saying that for the PC that it also allows for a at home capability testing then otherwise impossible scale with considerations across a spectrum of hardware even throughout the COVID-19 restrictions. Essentially meaning that being able to get this game out to the public to be able to be tested was such valuable information that there's no way that they could possibly test as many hardware combinations are out there in the wild when it comes to players that they could do in-house or well-tested systems. But they mentioned specifically saying it would have not been a success, you know, and also saying that it was super vital to their overall process to make sure that the game works properly. 
Why would they not bring this over to Halo Infinite? They absolutely need to. And I know that they're taking a lot of learnings from MCC to bring that over to Halo Infinite. So now let's get into the nitty gritty part where I'm sure you guys all want to know exactly what's being said about the flight process right now for Halo Infinite. Saying, our team is now actively engaged in flighting, ongoing community dialogue, live service process, and understanding the possibilities present in a multi-game, multi-engine product. As a team, we have grown and evolved alongside MCC, and we feel good about the process we have put in place to continue updating 343 industry titles. That's very important. They specifically say 343 industry titles. The only flying process we've ever really had is for the MCC. So why wouldn't they just say MCC in that process? Because they know that they're utilizing the same kind of structure that they built for the flying process for MCC and basically just kind of copy and paste that over to Halo Infinite. Obviously, it needs to be modified because Halo Infinite is a very different game. It's going to be much more strict, when I'm sure, when it comes to the amount of people who can be let in, the types of people who can be let in on this flighting. Probably some DMCA is mixed in there as well. And they have the big tagline title of this video here, guys, saying, these learnings all translate to Halo Infinite with 343 Industries now actively drafting plans for multiple flights later this year. But once you kind of combine all these puzzle pieces together, it really just kind of paints a picture it's showing that we will begin multiple flights for Halo Infinite. That's my, one of my biggest concerns it was this year that if there was going to be any kind of flighting, it would be more stress testing systems rather than actually you know, trying out the game mechanics of the game and you know if we maybe we like you know, weapons balanced a different way or maybe maps should be changed a certain way or maybe a game mode needs to be fixed up in some kind of mechanical way to have the game run better. That's something that I think what really the flighting process is for. It's not for just, hey, get a chance to play early and here's a stress test to make sure that the game doesn't break when you have the game running at full load of players. So how would I suspect this flighting process to work? Well, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's probably work rather similar to what we had with Halo Reach process, where I think we had like three or four proper flights before it officially released to the public. Uh, the initial flights were under DMCA, so you couldn't stream it or make content out about it. You couldn't share any game files, share any game footage or anything like that. But then later on, 343 lifted those restrictions. And I believe like the last two flights before Reach's release, you were able to stream it, make content on it and talk about it and stuff like that. Now, I expect if there's going to be multiple flights, it's going to start rather early. Like I said, probably late summer is probably when I would expect to see these uh, flights to start happening. Most likely under very strict NDA and under, under really strict small amount of people who could actually play the game. But if I was invited to the flight, which I kind of expect to be because I've been in part of every single MCC flight, that if I was part of the initial flights, I probably couldn't even tell you guys about it. But I have a feeling that as we get closer to the release date, I would assume maybe like the month before the official release, probably in October, you probably have like a relatively open flighting process where people can jump in and play the game, stream it, make content about it, talk about it. Because the main difference is that Infinite's a very much a work in progress game. Like everything is a work in progress. Work back in Reach, like you're bringing a finished game over to PC. So there are a lot more variables when it comes to the flighting process for Halo Infinite. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get a chance to play Halo Infinite early? Well, there's one simple way you can go about doing that, and that is by joining the Halo Insider program right here. The link is in the description down below, so go check that out, guys, if you want. Basically, you go into here, Click sign up, it's just a very easy, quick and easy way to sign up for this process, guys. Again, not everyone's gonna be invited in, but I'm sure the earlier you sign up, the more likely you'll probably get it, because I know that once the summer months roll around here, guys, there's gonna be a huge influx of people signing up through the Insider program to get a chance to play Halo Infinite early. So if you can, get on that right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for the last few days or so when it comes to Halo, check out the videos right here on the screen. Get a link to all my news and informational videos to keep yourself up to date. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.